Previously on our Victorian High Country adventure. I still I can't see anything anymore. Holy <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> Clutch it down there. And put it in the second second spot. Oh, this will be the last of my energy. Monkey gun, awesome! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's broken. Lift that end. Tomorrow. G'day everyone, Artist Wayne here, and we've just left South Nowra Mackers. You would have been lucky to get to f***ing Jindabyne by daybreak. Yeah. Bing, whose DR650 we left at the bottom of Monkey Gum, yeah. has found us accommodation. Yeah. So that's why we've brought him with us. And I've pulled over because I'm suffering from the worst leg cramps imaginable. Suck it up, princess. So without any further ado, welcome to day two of our epic... Victorian High Country Adventure! <laughs> G'day boys and girls, it's officially day two and it's a hive of activity today. I certainly didn't get much sleep, but I wonder how Mad Mal's feeling this morning. I'm sure Gaz Gaz slept well because he always gets his own room because he snores like a f***ing chainsaw. Get ready. This morning we'd be having breakfast in Nowra with Bing before parting ways. Bing would need to organise the retrieval of his DR650 from the bottom of Monkey Gum. As for Brendo, Gaz Gaz, Mad Mal and I, we needed to ride 650 kilometres to get to Omeo. There's no rest for the wicked, that's for sure. Right, so I'm going to spend eight days of you asking just stupid questions. Yep. Oh, it's just like every other day then. Is this picking you up as well? Or what? Yes. <laughs> See? It's already started. Stupid questions. <laughs> so we farewelled Bing and set course for Romeo. Our bikes and stomachs were full and the weather was perfect. And as soon as we hit the dirt, Mad Mao needed to work on his KDM. And there was a debate on whose tool bag was the easiest to access. Five minutes for me to get to mine. minutes to mine. Mine's in the bottom of that bag. <laughs> Just take that bag off and get it out. Hey, Bloody KDM, unreliable. I'm not sure what Mal had to do, but once he got his bike fixed, it didn't take long before we had to stop again because Mad Mal was up to his old tricks. Mad Mao showing a total disregard for the road closed sign. Now that sign means you can't enter or cross the barrier. If you try to, you may not get through. <sighs> if there's anywhere you can get bogged, Mad Mao will find it. One would think that the road closed signs would have been a dead giveaway. Surely getting bogged two days in a row is a bit These much. These tracks around the road, not a giveaway. Another Mad Mal Bogatron. <laughs> Remember boys and girls, we have 650 Ks to do today. We certainly didn't need this kind of setback. F***ing Mal. <laughs> Out comes my trusty retrieval strap. There's a reason it's orange, because I only ever use it on Mad Mal's KDM. It's the second day in a row he's been bogged. And after monkey gum yesterday, we don't need this kind of strenuous activity. Wait. Look at his boots. <laughs> nice easy day, he said. You just spat on me. <laughs> yeah, I was a bit lolly falling down my mouth. Yeah. Oh, it's going down. Go up. <laughs> oh, <yeah. sighs> now 690KDM feels heavier than my oh, T7. Oh, oh. Oh, now. It should come out easy. 
Yeah. Do it. You need to get it in neutral and you need to pull that wheel around, Mal. Uh -huh. I'm not getting my hands dirty. It's in neutral. Turn the wheel. It is? Yeah. You have to stop with the next creek and clean yourself up. It might be because I'm pulling on this and turning the wheel a bit. Just get dead straight. Turn the, turn the front wheel straight. I feel like I'm trying to retrieve a bike with the three stooges. <laughs> oh, it's coming out. It's come on. Right, eh? Really Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Oh, what the f? The front's f bogged in then. Yeah, grab the. You can grab the handle. We get the back out. Ready? Oh, it was becoming a serious Good. joke now. Oh. Yeah. oh my. Looks like we'll be arriving at Omeo in the dark. That's why this went on. I wonder if it's the front wheel stuff. It is. It's like f***ing glue in there. Quick to... You, you might be dry enough to dig that. a hole at the back here now. Huh? Might be dry, just dry enough to dig a hole yeah. at the back. Alright. I don't think Mal wants to dig a hole, Gaz Gaz. I didn't sign up for this today. Ah. You want to pull on an angle? Easy true, it's not going to fall. No, no, I'm just holding it still. Oh. While you dig a hole. I think it's the front wheel though, isn't it? Because it's coming up on the yeah, suspension. Yeah, but we're pulling against them over the back as well. Oh yeah, Mal definitely doesn't want to dig a hole. Yeah, so did I. Yeah, I'll dig it for you, Mal. <laughs> if only we had an excavator. We could dig a KDM 690 size hole and bury the f***ing thing. Oh yeah, let's do the same thing we did a minute ago and hope for a different outcome. One, two, three. Oh, sh Hang on. One, two, three. Go. Wait up, wait up. The only other way is if I push it over. Like I did with mine. Yeah. What about if I lean it over onto this hard pack stuff? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Well, at least the KDM was <laughs> laying down now, but it was still bogged. <laughs> Ready? Yep, One, two, three. <sighs> That's it. <laughs> can you grab up here so I can grab there? Ready? Yeah. Whoa. If Get we do the, the back up a bit more, we and we'll lift the back across so the front doesn't go back in. That's perfect, Gary. Gaz the engineer. Yeah, we'll get that out. That's worked a treat already. <laughs> Ready? Yep, go. Yeah. Well, it just next to the side. If I bring the front around a little bit more, I can wheel the front on the hard, hard stuff as the back goes out. Unless we just hook the thing on and drag it on its side. No, that's too hard. It's only sitting on its bag. <laughs> that's <deep. laughs> To do what now? To do what? Huh? To do what? Stand and then we'll up. lift it back up and try to wheel it on the hard stuff. Mm -hmm. How about you lift the front and we'll lift the back and try and get the bike this way a bit? Put the, put the finger on it then. In there, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're, we're lifting up. Oh. It's not moving at all. Yeah, but that's that's f***ing knee deep here. <laughs> Correct. There's no f***ing bottom there. Just get in there now. Huh? Get in there. How am I even going to get back now? Stand there and look straight out behind you. <laughs> Listen, you, you sound like a little girl. How oh, am I going to get back now? I just can't stand there. I can stand anywhere else. It's shorter, that's all. Walk up here. Huh? Walk up here and around. Straight behind you, destroy. Walk over the f***ing bike. So you want me to lift the rear? I don't know. I, I thought you wanted to come back. You were crying that you're stuck over there. Oh, it needs more leverage. You need to get yeah, up the top. 
Maybe it works a scenario, pulls your bar clusters out, we put them back together. Yeah, up on your bar cluster. Yeah, it'll just pull that out. The bike can't be that heavy. If I didn't video this sort of stuff, boys and girls, people just wouldn't believe it All happened. Right. Ready? Hang on. Wait up. That's easy. Well, it's sunk again. Easy. Alright. No, it's on one of the sticks. I feel like it's in the same place as before. The back wheel's closer to being out. Oh, holy shit! <sighs> if only I was somewhere else. Oh, oh so close. <clears throat> That back wheel's locked up. It's not in gear. It's not in gear. It wasn't, we were just skidding it. It's not in gear. Then that, that's clogged up with mud again. Yeah. That's what's happened. You have to piss on that chain. Nah, no. <laughs> uh, one more skid. We're done. Oh, oh. Hang on to it, bitch. There you go. The mud. See ya. <laughs> And that's how we got Mad Mal unbogged. I only just made it to our next fuel stop at Bombala, where we also had something to eat after manhandling Mal's bike for an hour. Why is that all dirty, Mal? Let's get the headlights, so clean that. It's definitely be coming in the dark. Yeah, we still had a long way to go, but we were now making good progress. Only because there was no mud for Mal to get bogged in. We were now riding through the beautiful Snowy River National Park across one of the most spectacular bridges in the world the iconic McKillops Bridge and apparently we were about to drive on one of the most hazardous and dangerous roads in the country only because all the four wheel drivers won't f***ing move over Can't really argue when you're on a motorcycle though. Nice, 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 nice. I can't even take a leak in peace with these clowns. Well, what time is it? So we're... Are we having dinner? Well, I sent Jason a message if the kitchen closes to just order us whatever. Well, that was incentive enough for me to get a crack on. To arrive at our destination in time to have something to eat was a luxury that we weren't accustomed to. But fortunately for us, we had a man on the inside. Our mate, Big Jace, the bodyguard, was waiting for us at Omeo. We were supposed to meet him at Jindabyne, but of course that never happened. We were stuck on monkey gum for a f***ing day and a half. Big Jace the bodyguard didn't want to do monkey gum, so clearly Big Jace is the most intelligent in the group. Anyway, we were all getting excited now. The team was getting back together. Omeo, here we come. Yep. Uh, ahead of schedule. <laughs> a chain? Yeah. Oh, the yeah. Who wants a hug and who wants a kiss and who wants a handshake? Who Give us a hug, Chase. Oh, thank <laughs> There's another bit oh. of on the bottom. Can we just sleep above you? <laughs> Once we got settled, it was time to sit down with Big Jace and fill him in on the monkey gum saga. Yeah, back to the story. We're going to explain to Jace that whole trip. So we're going to break it down. Mal got stuck. He so Mal started the issue. Right, so we had to. It was hard getting that bike. I thought the battery went out and up the hill. No. no. No, no. Oh, that was I've got a photographic memory okay. too. Now's got to have a look looking for right? a bogiest spot and yeah. just target. How deep can I put my bike in this? So Ugh. shortly after we came to the next obstacle, Mal goes, Oh, my battery's dead when he's at the top of the what happened? Oh. First off they sent me up and they said, 
There's one more hard part. Do you want to go have a look at it? That's irrelevant. Do you want to go have a look at it and, and let us know what no, it's like? It's not got to do with anything. Did you see one more hard part? Yes. It's another river crossing. It's going to be used as evidence against you. We went up. I went up and I go, oh yeah, we'll cross that. If, if that's as hard as it is, we'll cross that. Is. You, actually, you, act, you actually said it's really steep. It's steep going down. Was it steep going down? Oh shit, it was. It was not so steep going down. It was, it was easy. It was just like a trail. It was easy. easy. I don't it remember. It was like a step on the race. He gave me out the power to turn us all back and said, now, before we try to get through this first, obviously we'll go to the second one and tell us whether it's worth going through. He goes, yeah, okay, it's fine. It's a story, yeah. It was. How many things happened? With your photographic memory. Yeah, so so I'll go through it now. Okay. Ah, there's no need for us to argue about monkey gun. There's a bloody video you can watch. And you know what they say, the video ref never lies. Besides, tomorrow we were heading to Dargo via the beautiful Blue Rag Range track. And I can't wait to share that with you all. I'm artist Wayne Dowson and thanks for watching everyone. <laughs>